Hi, this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and this is the OneMix 2S Yoga from a company called One Netbook. It's basically a little laptop with a 7-inch touchscreen display that folds over 360 degrees if you want to use it like a tablet. It has a little QWERTY keyboard, and it's an upgrade over the original OneMix Yoga in that the new model has a significantly higher performance processor. It has an Intel Core M3 8100Y uh, chip. It's a low-power processor with a uh, TDP of about 5 watts which isn't really much more than the Intel Atom chip that was in the previous version, but it just uh, offers much, much better performance. It's part of the 8th core, eighth generation Intel core processor family instead of the Atom lineup, and generally it makes this a much more pleasant machine to use in terms of performance. But it's only got a 7-inch screen, it only weighs about a pound, there's not a lot of room in there for cooling, and so it can get a little bit noisy uh, because of the fan that kicks in under duress, and also the, uh, when it gets a little bit warm, it can throttle the CPU speeds and affect performance. For general purpose computing, it's not really an issue, but if you're looking for a quiet computer, this is definitely not a fanless machine, and that's what I wanted to show you in this video. So I'm going to take the microphone that I'm using and move it a little bit closer to the fan. This is going to exaggerate the sound a little bit, because usually you're going to have the microphone closer to where I am, uh, sitting a foot and a half maybe away from the screen, uh, and being in front of it. But if we take the microphone, and I'll sound a little off axis as I do this, and move it over here so it points at the fan behind the computer, you'll be able to hear what I hear, which is the, uh, the noise blowing out from behind this. Again, it won't sound this loud, and uh, in the beginning, you might want to put on headphones to really hear what we're going to hear. I'll also take a little look at CPU throttling. So first, let's go ahead and turn it on. And um, actually, first, this is what the room sounds like when I'm not talking. There's a little bit of noise from other electronic gadgets and ambient room noise. Now we're going to turn this on, and you'll hear the fan kick in at a low speed, and then we'll sort of put it through a stress test and hear it uh, kick in a little higher. So I've opened up CPU ID's uh, HW monitor here, and you can see the temperature is at around 110 degrees Fahrenheit or 40, 45 degrees Celsius. Uh, the package power is less than a watt. CPU is barely being used at all, and the CPU speeds are 2.6 to 3 gigahertz right now. And that's what the fan sounds like at that. But now we're going to go ahead and open up Prime95, which is going to tax the CPU pretty significantly. And watch as the temperatures go up, the package power goes up, CPU utilization goes up, and the speeds go down. And then uh, I'll shut up so you can hear the fan, which will get louder right away, and then even louder later.
And that's about as loud as it gets. And I'm going to just move the microphone a little bit so that you can hear. It's not quite as loud when it's in front. And now the microphone is actually back by my head. So this is what it sounds like, more what it sounds like to me. In fact, I'm going to keep it here for a second, and I'm going to turn off Prime 95 and see if we can uh, reduce the uh, fan noise a little bit. shut it off so you can hear with the microphone placed here what it sounds like. So that is a general idea of uh, what we're dealing with in terms of fan noise and uh, CPU throttling. It's definitely usable, but it's not silent by any stretch of the imagination. Now there is uh, something that I probably should show you, which is a fan control button. So let's go ahead and turn it back on, and I'll show you that you can not turn off the fan, but you can sort of uh, enable silent mode, which will be a little bit quieter, but it's also going to have an impact on overall performance. So I'll do that, and then we'll uh, we'll call it a video. This time again, the microphone is in the front. Prime 95 is running. Fan noise is picked up to that sort of intermediate level, and I'm going to hit the fan control button. And it's not off, but it is a little bit more like what we would hear when it was at the lowest volume. So basically you've got off, medium speed, high speed. This takes us, uh, or off, low speed, medium speed, high speed. This takes us back to the low speed. Doesn't turn it off altogether. Um, and overall performance isn't too bad, but you'll notice that the CPU speeds have now uh, stopped at about 1.3 gigahertz here. I'm going to press it again. CPU speed pick up, the package power picks up, the fan noise picks up. Now I've noticed that using that uh, that fan control button does affect performance a little bit, but uh, even when I'm running applications like PC Mark, which is a general purpose uh, benchmark, the score is pretty close to the same. So for the most part, you might not notice a huge difference other than the fact that the device might have slightly slower CPU frequencies, uh, which for most applications isn't gonna matter too much. And it might get a little bit warmer if, uh, if it's not experiencing as much active cooling. So it's nice to have that option. I'm not sure how often I would use it unless I was in an environment where I could really 
hear the fan noise and be annoyed by the fan noise. But if you're the sort of person who's really looking for a silent computer, this is not it. Otherwise, in most respects, it really is quite a nice upgrade over the One Mix Yoga, the original version. And I'll have another video that really compares the two side by side. So this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing and a look at the CPU performance and throttling and the fan noise on the One Mix 2S Yoga.